This video presents a unified construction for cubic subdivision on simplex lattices of dimension up to 4. For low dimensions, the subdivision schemes have been published with large time intervals in between. In one dimension, there is cubic b spline subdivision for curves. The two-dimensional case is a subset of the loop scheme for triangle meshes. And finally, in 2004, Schaefer and Warren devised the cubic subdivision rules for the three-dimensional simplex lattice. Here, subdivision leads to a smooth parameterization of space that can then be used for volume deformation. In 1D, the simplex lattice is the integer grid. In 2D, the points form equilateral triangles. In 3D, the space is tessellated with tetrahedra and octahedra. For each octahedron, there are two corresponding tetrahedra that together form a sheared cube. Each of these lattices is parameterized by the multidimensional integer grid. The integer vectors are simply multiplied by a matrix that contains the basis vectors. Each basis vector has length 1, and the angle between two basis vectors is 60 degree. Each basis in induces the basis of the next higher dimension. The weights in the linear subdivision mask depend only on the distance of the grid point to the origin. The weight at the origin is 1. At grid points with distance 1 from the origin, the weight is 1 half. At the distance of square root of 2, the weight is 1 sixth. And 0 everywhere else. This definition is only valid on grids of dimension up to 4. The definition results in the following arrays, here displayed for 1D and 2D. List convolution of the linear mask with itself gives the masks for cubic subdivision. Here we show both the linear as well as the cubic mask for the tetrahedral octahedral lattice. And finally, the linear subdivision mask for the four dimensional simplex grid. The weights fit in an array of dimension 3x3x3x3. Three by three by three by three. List convolution gives the cubic mask, resulting in a 5x5x5x5 array with 244 entries as zero. Next, we plot the basis functions over the simplex domain, here for 1D. In 2D, the basis functions are supported over a hexagon. In 3D, the support is an octahedron. The animation shows slices through the three-dimensional domain. The function values are slightly scaled to highlight the fractal properties in the linear basis function. In the stated publication, Adi Levin presents the theory regarding the quasi interpolant operator Q for a given subdivision scheme S. Q is the inverse of the subdivision limit when restricted to polynomials of up to a certain degree. For cubic schemes, the degree is 3. Here we list the quasi interpolants corresponding to the four cubic subdivision schemes discussed in the presentation. The general formula for the scaling factor of the Laplace operator is shown to the right. So what happens in five dimensions? Here, the weights of the linear subdivision mask do not fit in a 3 to the power 5 array. Also, the weight formula has to account for grid points at a distance of square root of 3 from the origin. We leave the discussion of the schemes for dimension 5 and higher for another video. Thank you for watching.